I'm doing this research on combining Mamba linear heads and transformer heads so we can extend the context window of LLMs 10, 50 times to millions to, uh, tokens, billions of tokens eventually. I'm gonna make a playlist, so it's gonna be to these two videos and now this one is third. In the first video, I set up my code. In the second video, we went through how Mamba works without coding anything. And now we're gonna continue. So we have the code implemented of my uh, whole LLM. There is just some bugs. And uh, the main reason I can't solve bugs is I still don't understand the Mam Mamba heads 100%. But now we will understand it a lot better by solving these things. So let's just go. So I think uh, GPT-5 is kind of overthinking. Why did it think so much? But maybe the answer is good. Let's see. Uh, here's what happens step by step. Why it blows up? You are in mixed precision with AMP because we are putting loss and backward into mixed precision. So this scalar.scale loss backward kicks off autograd. During the backward walk, PyTorch checks that any tensors it saved from the forward pass, especially views, haven't been changed in place. With the, what this message means, as strided backward zero um, was modified in place for some reason. Every tensor that requires grad, the backpropagation gradients, has a version counter. If you do an in-place write, example, you just change it in place with add or lerp, the counter increments. And we do have this add here. And do we have it on two? I just see. I just see it at one place. It's two places and I'm absolutely blind. S write it backwards zero tells you the problematic value is a view produced by an s threaded operation under the hood, typical sources, view, transpose, permute, expand, slicing or advancing, advanced indexing. So we have this view. I think it's add and view. Autograd saves that view during the forward pass, expecting to see the same content during backward version seven. But something wrote into the underlying storage, now version eight, hence the error. So let's see, the actual error says, one of the variables needed for gradient computation has been modified by an in-place operation, torch CUDA flow tensor, what is this? Which is output zero as S strided backward zero, is at version eight, expected version seven instead. Hint, enable anomaly, anomaly detection to find the operation that failed to compute its gradient with uh, torch autograd set detect on anomaly true. So let me just do that. I I'm gonna tell to my cursor uh, to do this, make minimal code changes because I don't want it to start doing all of the stuff. I don't know why they are, why they removed the ability for me to just apply the changes. So I had to choose agent, don't forget to choose agent here and now it's gonna apply. So let me see the difference just here. Okay, so while GPT-5 is analyzing uh, why this is happening to your code, the likely culprit path, the reported shape, the shape reported. So this was actually the shape. I wonder what this was. 244832. It's right here. Maps neatly to your Mamba path. Batch 2, Mamba heads 4, head dimension 48, and state size 32. This is coming from the Mamba 2 mixer. Selective scan parallel, selective scan fast, uh, chunked or long depth scan path, not the attention FFN. This one, for example, you see it's uh, writing in place. But uh, the new output gave us different clearer failure mode. Function log softmax backward zero. I remember this. And I remember solving it somehow like two months ago and I forgot how I solved it. I think I just replaced softmax with a different function. So this function returned none values in its zeroth output. So this is from cross f dot cross entropy. So I think I just used like sigmoid or something instead. What could happen is that Mamba heads produce some huge values like infinity that become none 
or none when they go to LM head logits. So there are some suspicious path, uh, suspicious points in code, and GPT-5 is actually really good at, at detecting this. I'm surprised. Here we have a lot of exponentials, so e to some number e to some power. So if we get number above 38 here, then that's gonna not gonna be representable in FP32. But this is different. This is 10 to 38. This is e to some number. Euler's number. So I'm not sure this should be then a lot bigger than um, 38 in order not to be representable. But we are also using uh, float 16, so maybe there it could actually, this exp could be too big. Here is what I will do. I will disable this uh, mixed precision temporarily and I'm gonna add these logs to try to catch where it explodes to none. GPT-5 actually helped me understand this bug a lot better. I'm surprised it's a lot better than 4.0 for sure. 4.0 just has some interesting personality. You see how it explains very well, but it's less intelligent than GPT-5. Okay, now I got something. Check this out. Claude Opus 4.1 thinking number 3. That's crazy, but Gemini 2.5 beating GPT-5 again. How? Anthropic just is the best company right now. Not only are they uh, in up there in this general stuff, but they also have the best coding AI, which is most useful thing, the coding. GPT-5 said it traced NANS to Mamba Selective Scan Discretization. In Mamba to mix.forward, A is constructed, constructed to be negative. It says it find these issues here. There are some numerical explosions here. Okay, now uh, GPT-5 is a bit annoying. Why is it reading so much? It's been like for two minutes. I just told it to add some checks. What I meant is add like some prints. So maybe it's gonna clone some of these so they are not modified in sp in place. This is so hopeless. I think we need to try a different method. I actually just went to this model that's newly released, files, and then this modeling nanotron here. I copied all of it and put it into Opus and gave it my own LLM. Just put it here and told it to write minimal implementation. It just 300 lines of code Previously, we had 1,000, 1,200 something. Then it gave this error and it fixed the error. And now it, it kind of works. Um, I don't know what we are generating, predicting, but it seems to work. I'll give it this part of my LLM where it loads the tokenizer and the data. So I'll tell it to load this and use this. So use this data and tokenizer. So why does Mamba have convolutions while that's generating? Mamba integrates a 1D convolution to enhance temporal mixing before feeding the data into the state space model core. Let's break it down step by step. So state space models model sequences using a recurrence relation. So we take the previous state memory times some A that will determine how much of previous we use and B, which will determine how much of the current new data we use. So that's the new space, new state, new state. And then to get the actual output, we calculate new state with some value that's gonna tell us how much of the new state we use. And uh, so this is gonna be saved for the next step as well. And then this is just how much of the original, original input we use for this output how much we use for the new uh, state and how much we, we use for the new output. Check my previous video, uh, Mamba from scratch, step by step. It's called, uh, yeah, Mamba 2 from scratch. This one, Infinite Reasoning LLMs. Maybe it's gonna have different thumbnail, but just check this title. So surprisingly, it looks like in it implemented data and tokenization, it trained and saved the model. Uh, 4.1 Opus Thinking did it. So it looks like even though I started new chat, it still remembers these problems with nuns and memories. And why is it trying to fix that? It doesn't exist anymore. But we have this hybrid config. More workers for faster data. I will not, so this cursor is actually, 
I, I don't like it. Like, what's happening? Why is it doing other things? Why is it doing other things I don't want it to do? I never told it to do. So now it loads uh, real data, uses small LM tokenizer, trains on actual language modeling tasks, generates coherent text. I don't know about this one, but it does save and there is no errors, which I like. Let's say, how would you make do minimal changes to make it train for longer and better? Add validation and checkpointing. I never told it to do that. What is what's happening, bro? I need to just start prompting. This is so annoying. And now memory is messing with what I want to do. This is not relevant anymore. So if you go to cursor settings, search here memory, I'm gonna disable it. I'm also gonna delete all of this nonsense and just disable it. The way to make it train better is we increase number of documents. Uh, increase number of epochs. Why? I think it's not good in on text data. Just do one epoch and then increase number of documents if you want to train for longer. You don't want to go over same data, I think. I'm not sure. Epochs is how many times the model sees the same full data set. So I think just one on text data and then just make like 50,000 documents if you want to just train 10 times more. It also added max steps, gradient accumulation, uh, cosine annealing and warm up. We'll see if this just added a bunch of more code, a regular checkpointing, evaluation, I don't know, bigger model, number of layers. I like this, I just hope it's not like so much more code. If it's so much more code, then I'm gonna just return to this smaller version. Let's see. So from oof, 300 more lines. It's training, but I don't know. I think it's too slow and I don't know. It just trains a lot slower than classic transformer. I don't know why. Maybe Mamba heads make it a lot slower. Or Mamba is not so optimized. Now wait a second. I just told told it to make it more parallel and even remove lines of code. Now we just got 256 lines of code. This is crazy and it seems like it's learning a lot faster. I don't understand. Loss is going down a lot faster. I don't know what's happening. Now we use mixed precision autocast for 2x speed up. Let's go. Multi GPU, we use all available GPUs. Now it's 100% utilization on a single GPU that I have. Torch compile, just in time compiler, we got this as well. Okay, that's crazy. Yeah, now I see that we have these autocast things. We didn't have that before. I'm going to say that it's still slower than Transformer, but now it's just maybe two times slower. I'm just, that's my feeling, as opposed to being like 60 times slower. I mean, then pure transformer. There is still a transformer attention, but I think it's just one layer here. Mamba, Mamba, attention, Mamba, attention, Mamba, attention, Mamba. Okay, we have a few attention layers. But loss is now 1.14. Okay, I think this, this is maybe a successful implementation of this hybrid model now. And I'm happiest about just 252 lines of code. Then we have optimized data loader, eight workers with uh, persistent workers true. Pin memory true. I'm not sure. Async transfers, I see. Fuse that on W, of course. And we can also use muon, by the way. That's why, that's why my transformer is two times faster. I'm using muon there. Okay, chill out, chill out, bro, chill out. <laughs> And then CUDNN enables hardware optimizations. Here, Torch, Backends, CUDNN benchmark true. Okay. And uh, TF32 on Ampere GPUs. I don't have... Am I? No, no, no. 1490 is Hopper. The future of AI is driven, driven, driven. What's happening here? It's not the best, not the best. Loss is low, but why is it doing this? So let's see interactive mode generating. Today I will. Um, I will think. What is this? Oh wait, it actually works quite well. Suppose we find an ordered flower in the next day, going on vacation or applying the tree tree. Bro, it works, it works, it works, it works, it works, it works. Let's go, it works, it works. What are these steps? I have no idea, but it works. I'm gonna delete 
Nemotron, useless. Transformer, LLM, useless. LLM, yeah, useless. And then this is gonna be renamed to LLM hybrid, let's say, dot pi. Okay, inference, and then I'm going to adjust, how do you say, pound, how do you say this, pound, pond, how do you say this? How do you say it? Pound, pound. Pound, pound. This is so good, it works, bro, it works, it works. I didn't expect it to work. So easy. Now we can start doing some research on this hybrid LLM. I guess we just add muon optimizer and that's it. This is so short. In the next videos, I'm going to continue doing research on this hybrid LLM. Check out other videos on my channel. I'm going to put this into a playlist, these a few videos in particular on this hybrid research. So these last two videos and then this one, etc. And see you next time.